Hey Libra peeps, I hope you're all well. So this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of October 2021 and it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Libra. It is general so it's not going to be everybody's situation but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs or you can book your personal reading with me if you want. If you are interested, all the information is in the description box. All right, so let's see the overall energy for Libra. We have wishing. Okay, so I feel like this is a mutual energy between you and your person. There's a lot of wishing here. Um, <clears throat> wishing for this connection possibly. We'll see. We'll see when we clarify. So let's get into this. I get the sense that things between you and another person might not be um, exactly where you would want them to be and that, that's why we would have the wishing card to begin with because there is something that feels a little bit unfulfilled at the moment. So wishing, <clears throat> having a wish for some kind of a fulfillment. Let's see, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, so for the recent past, we have the Page of Cups. All right, a lot of emotions here. Possibly for some of you, you've had, um, you may have had a conversation where a lot of emotions were brought to the surface. Doesn't have to be um, a conversation, but it could even be something like um, just emotions coming to the surface and somebody really wanting to communicate this whether they did or whether they did not. So for you, we have the Queen of Swords as well as the Four of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like you might be keeping your distance a little bit from this person um, or you might just be appearing a little bit um, cutting. Almost like I'm getting the sense that you've possibly set some boundaries and so for that reason, you're keeping a little bit of a distance or kind of keeping back from this person. And I feel like you're doing that in a very like um, determined way, almost stubbornly, but just like really holding back here. Let's see for your person, we have the Seven of Cups and we have Faith, which is the Hierophant. All right, so this person, I feel like they're the ones who are more in this wishing type of an energy. All right, with the Seven of Cups, I feel like there's some confusion here. There's some thinking, contemplating, but in a way where everything just feels all, all mixed up, almost like they don't even really know what is going on here. I do also get that this person is either involved in some kind of a commitment. It does not have to be romantic in nature. It can be any type of a commitment for some of them, um, but there's definitely some confusion as well concerning a particular commitment and it could be the commitment or the situation with you. So we'll find out more when we clarify, but let's see what is coming up for you. We have the King of Cups and for them we have the Seven of Swords. All right, so for you, I see you reaching a place of emotional balance. Um, because I don't know if you're exactly in that space just yet. I do feel like there's a little bit of you kind of holding back, possibly trying to keep your emotions in check. And I feel like coming up, you will be able to feel your emotions a little bit more honestly within your own self, but it will also be in a way that is balanced for you. For your person here though, um, the Seven of Swords, they're either hiding something but I'm also getting trying to sneak away from a situation. So again, we're going to have to clarify and see. Let's see the potential outcome here. We have the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so somebody being focused on something, um, somebody putting in some work towards this. All right. So let's clarify. Let me clarify that wishing... All right, we have the Seven of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. All right, so so, so yes, there is there is a wish here. I do feel like it 
<clears throat> it's actually from the both of you. Um, but I feel like you're both trying to keep it in check. I feel like you are more aware of it actually, all right, with this Queen of Swords, but you're just kind of holding back from it, possibly because you, f you understand that this other person is feeling confused or, you know, maybe their life is a little bit chaotic right now. Um, whereas the other person is holding back from this wish more like just kind of betraying themselves, not being honest with themselves. I do feel that they actually know how it is that they feel, so it's not 100% suppressed, it's not 100% denial. They're just trying to kind of um, brush it under the rug and trying not to pay attention to it. But it's definitely, um, this wish is definitely concerning the both of you. You're just each avoiding it for different reasons. All right, let's clarify this Queen of Swords for your energy. I just had three cards fall out. All right, let's see. The Two of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Three of Cups. Yeah, you're aware of this. You're aware of this, but you're holding back on it. Um, I feel like you're waiting you're kind of waiting to see <clears throat> what's going to happen with the other person here or you're waiting for the other person to make the first move because whatever it is that has happened between the two of you, I feel like you actually feel like it, the ball is in their court. And so I feel like you're just not really making a move. You're, you're keeping your distance. You're, you've set some boundaries. And even though you would want to um, either communicate or get things going with this person, you're, you're kind of just taking that a step back, waiting for them to make that move. Let's see the Four of Pentacles. All right, the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you know what? This is coming in kind of like having having an impulse, having some kind of a drive, um, but again, like holding that in. And I feel like that's what you might be um, facing at the moment with your own self, how to actually keep those impulses in check. And I feel like you're doing a pretty good job. I mean, I'm not seeing this as necessarily being a bad thing. I feel like for whatever whatever your reasons are for, you know, ta having taken a step back and letting this person kind of um, do what it is, whatever it is that they need to do, I feel like you have your reasons for that. So, I, because I don't see anything <clears throat> negative particularly um, attached to this type of an energy. So I feel like you're holding back, you're trying to really be um, confident and assertive within your own self when it comes to how you want to move forward. I feel like you're, you're trying to just focus more, more on yourself. And I feel like this is actually making you very desirable to this person. All right, let's see what's going on with them. Let's see this Seven of Cups. All right, the King of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. All right, this person, I feel like they're figuring it out. Whatever this is, whatever this confusion is, um, I feel like it's about them having to make some kind of a decision. <clears throat> having to make some kind of a decision about um, releasing something. There's something that's going on with this person where it's like they, they're feeling a huge sense of of responsibility or something that is really kind of um, exhausting them like to their limit. I feel like it's a slow process, whatever this is, 
um, because there's a lot of um, overanalyzing and thinking to the point where I feel like they end up just confusing their own self. It could even be that this person has a lot of options or a lot of distractions at the moment, which kind of keep them from fully facing whatever the issue is, like more directly. And so whatever it is that is going on, that's like serving as a distraction, which is helping them to kind of escape what it is that they are wishing for. But it's still there. They're still aware of it. And again, they are, they're slowly working on it, but yeah, um, keyword being slowly. But let's see, let's see this Hierophant. All right, we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Eight of Swords, and we have the Ace of Cups. All right, this person is feeling very strongly about you, all right? Um, with the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups, I mean, this is very, very clear. This is somebody who does see you in a way where, you know, they do, they would want a very serious commitment with you. But again, it's like this overthinking that's showing up here, right? There's some fear, possibly even fear attached to happiness. So I feel like this person, whatever it is that's going on for them in their life, um, I feel like they, they're kind of used to things being in the way that they are i actually feel like this um seven of cups energy where it could be that they just have a lot of options they have a lot of distraction distractions they just have a lot going on um that's not something that is making them happy but it's something that they are used to it's like they're used to being in this type of an energy and because of that it's almost like they're afraid they're afraid of things being peaceful. They're afraid of having um, happiness and love in their life. Almost like they wouldn't even know what to do with it if they were to have that. That's what I'm getting here. Um, again, for some of them, it could be that they are kind of stuck in another situation. And even if that is the case, they're thinking a lot about happiness. They're thinking a lot about love. They know that it's this Ace of Cups, right? <clears throat> that is going to give them that Ten of Cups, that ultimate fulfillment, right? Which is what they're wishing for. Like that wish is there. The wish is there. It's just almost like there's this fear of the wish coming true. And so they have all of these distractions to kind of keep them away from that. So why would somebody... Um, be afraid of their wish coming true. It could be for a variety of reasons. All right, it could be because that might mean um, having to let go of something else for some people. It could mean um, having a new set of responsibilities. For other people, it can be that they just feel like, like they're not worth it and then what if something goes wrong and the disappointment that they will feel at, you know, if it doesn't work out. So there's a lot, there's a lot, but those are the ones that, that I'm getting. So let's see what is actually um, coming up here. So let's see this King of Cups for your energy. All right, the Ten of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. Okay, so what the energy that you're moving towards is really... Um, it's like being okay, feeling emotionally stable when it comes to possibly not having this commitment just yet, which is possibly something that could be a part of your lesson here or could be, you know, a part of your soul growth to fully embody this taking a step back and being okay with that, almost like surrendering and releasing control. And I feel like that's what you are in the process of doing. So yes, you do have this wish as well, but you're like mastering allowing that wish to just you know be there right that vibe is in the universe and then just allowing the universe to um to play the rest of this story to play it out let's see for them let's see the seven of swords The 
the Six of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Four of Cups. All right, okay, so this person, um, again, you know, it's this, this avoiding of that, of that wish. It's actually leading them to a lot of pain and to a lot of discontentment, um, possibly even boredom for some of them. Just like boredom as in, okay, like, what am I even doing? Like, what is my purpose? What, what do I want? You know, I'm not feeling fulfilled. That is causing them a lot of, a lot of pain. And I feel like that is actually what is leading up to this eight of pentacles here for the potential outcome. So yeah, I feel like things just kind of have to go through this phase first where you are taking that step back, focusing on yourself here, um, finding your own emotional stability, finding that space where you can still hold love for this connection. You can still have that wish, but you're not you're not trying to control the situation. I feel like that is what is happening for you or as this person, you know, they're they're avoiding avoiding their wish, avoiding their happiness to the point where it's going to lead to so much pain. Um so yeah, and then yeah, clarifying the 8 of pentacles, we have the knight of cups. That is leading them to actually putting in this work and focusing on how to come in as this Knight of Cups. All right, so it is a progression um, from this Page of Cups that we had in the past, okay, where, you know, maybe the emotions were um, being expressed, but just at a minimal level. So it's a progression to the Knight of Cups, like actually um, coming in with an offer of love. So obviously, you know, then it's, um, anything can happen <laughs> after that. So, Libra, if this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. All right, and we have the full moon in Libra. All right, a win-win outcome is forecast. Yes, it's a win-win outcome because you're both learning these lessons. And I feel like you're both actually achieving these lessons, which will then actually um, lead up to this wish to this wish being fulfilled. All right, Libra, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.